a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So, guys, in our previous session, we have covered violin plots. In our today's session, we will be starting with a new plot that is called as a pair plot. Now, pair plot over here is a combination of scatter plot and a histogram plot where pairs are created in a different forms over here. Let's have a look on how first of all pair plot looks like. So, this is how a pair plot looks like. On the left hand side, you will notice that we have a diagonal which has histograms and in the right hand side plot you can see we have a diagonals which is having KDE how we can define that we all we will also be talking about that in our session and here we can see we have scattered data and uh, there are some X's so in our X axis we have four columns in our Y axis again we have four columns so first of all let's have a look on how it can be created to create a pair plot first of all we will be importing C1 as SNS I'll import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt i'll also import the pandas as pd once i have imported all three of them the next thing that we need to do over here is get the data set for data set we will be writing df is equals to sns dot data set and not dot data set but load data set because we want to load this data set over here so from where we'll get this data set from our repository so we have a github's repository over here and we can go for something new maybe so we can try with the iris so we'll be going with the iris because I guess it would be able to explain things much more better. I'll be getting iris over here and let's see what all columns are there over here. So for that I'll be writing df. So df dot head and I'll give the open close parentheses and no space should be given in between. As soon as we run it we'll get the output in this way that we'll get all the columns that is there over here. So we have the index over here, we have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and the species over here. So what we will be doing, we will be giving our data frame over here inside the pair plot. To write that, we will be writing sns.pairplot and inside this, I will be giving data is equal to data frame. Here we do not need to define the x-axis and y-axis, it will automatically create it for sepal length, petal width, petal length and petal width and if I run it, let's see what output we will get over here. So our output something looks like this that we will be for now, we will be ignoring the diagonal elements and over here we have petal width, petal length, sepal width, sepal length. Similarly here we have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Let us uh, let me just try to explain it to you with the help of an example over here. So this is how basically our graphs looks like here we have the x axis here we have the y axis so here let's just check once again what all things we have so we have petal width petal length sepal width sepal length so i'll be writing it as petal width petal length sepal width sepal length similarly here we have sepal length sepal width petal length petal width okay so how a plot has been created over here, the first plot over here is between the sepal length there where the x axis is the sepal length and the petal width is y axis. Then over here another plot has been created. This plot has x axis as sepal width and the y axis as the petal width. Another plot has been created which, which has petal length as x axis and in the y axis it has petal width and similarly we have another plot which is a histogram plot so i'll just make it like this so this is a histogram plot i know my drawing is not really good but yeah just it's a histogram plot okay i'll write x over there so we have a histogram plot and we have pw that is petal width as the x-axis and pw again as the y-axis this will happen for all the diagonal elements so if i talk about this element as well over here the x axis again will be what petal length and the y-axis again would be what petal length so again this diagonal element is going to be what the diagonal elements are going to be between each other only so uh, both the x-axis and y-axis over here will be between each other only so all the diagonal elements we will be ignoring all the diagonal elements over here and this one and lastly this one so all the diagonal elements and i'll be just putting h over there just to denote that they are histogram plots okay histogram or it can be kde as well so i wish i would have drawn kde it would have looked much more better but yeah never mind so after this if i talk about the other plots the other plots uh, suppose if i talk about this one this one has sepal length as the x-axis and petal width as the y-axis again this one if i talk about this one this one has sepal length as the x-axis and petal and sepal width as the y-axis similarly if i talk about this one this one has sepal width as the x-axis and petal length as the y-axis now what will happen in the top of it the the elements that we have on the top of it here sepal width over here will be x-axis sw and here 
y axis would be sl this pattern we have seen this pattern before where our sw was y axis and the sl that means sepal length was what it was x axis so if what has happened over here is only the mirror image has been created where if if i just take the example of these two plots so these are these plots are like this right these plots are like this so here we had sepal length as x axis and uh, sepal width as y axis similarly here on the above one the one above the diagonal what happened over here is we had sw that is sepal width as x axis and sepal length as y axis that means only the axis over here has been changed the data the output that we will get will remain the same so either you can uh, work on the data that is above the diagonal or you can work on the data that means you can take the reference which is below the diagonal so whichever is more comfortable to you wherever you you can see the data is much more uh, you know a specified manner it has been arranged in a much more specified manner you can take help of that data and you can take help of that plot particular that plot to analyze something okay now that we have understood the concept let's get back to our jupyter notebook so once i'm back here you can also write plt dot show and this is how it would look like okay right now the height is too much the height of each column over here is too much let's reduce the height so for that i'll be writing height is equals to 2 if i run it the heights are now being reduced or if you want to keep it like 1.5 so now it is much more better this is how the heights have been looking like okay so this was about this now if i talk about the hue okay if i want to give a hue over here that if i want to define a hue and in the hue i will be giving species for that what i'll be doing i'll just copy this code from here and here i'll paste it and i'll define my hue so hue would be equal to let's say the what is the other column that we are left with so species so i'll put species over here and as soon as i run it i'll get a very colorful output over here so we can get a colorful output over here like this and if you want to def uh, define the palette as well so palette it's not platter it's palette again and platter is let's say viridis and if i run it i'll get the output in this way this is how it looks like so we can see over here that uh, in this one we have in the diagonal elements we have kde that means kernel density estimation if if i want to put it back to histogram so i'll be writing uh, diagonal kind so diag underscore kind is equals to hist and if i run it i'll get the output in this way that the diagonal kind has now been converted into histogram so whatever looks more better to you you can go with that one so not just good but whatever you feel it is good for analyzing data you can use that as well so if you are comfortable viewing the data in histogram you can use histogram and if you want a kde for that all you need to do is instead of a histogram you need to put kde and as soon as we run it we'll get the diagonal elements in the in the kernel density estimation So over here you will notice the patterns like you can see if I talk about these two graphs over here these two plots over here so you will notice that the data is almost the same only what has happened it has just been uh, the mirror image basically has been created because the x and y axis over here has been changed so if you want to read the data based on the top of the diagonal or based on the bottom of the diagonal it is the choice is totally up to you So suppose if you want to give a edge color to these scattered plots over here, that means these scattered elements. For that, you can write plot underscore kws. You can pass different things over here in the form of a dictionary. So if I want to pass, um, what do we say? Let's say edge color over here. So I'll be writing ed ge edge color is equals to let's say black. It's not black. It's black. And if I run it, I'll get invalid syntax because we don't use is equal to. We use colon. Also, we do not put it inside without double quotations. We will put the double quotations over here. And as soon as I run it, I'll get the output in this way that we now have a edge color over here. You can see we have a black color edge color. And if you want to put it like something else, if you want it right yellow. And if I run it. so we'll be getting yellow ish in colors so guys this was about the pair plots i hope pair plots over here are clear to you we can define the height of a pair plot uh, all we need to do is remember that we need to ignore the elements which are there in the diagonal because they are between the same x and y axis and if you want to study the pair plot you can either study the above part or the bottom part or whichever part you want to study whichever you think is more comfortable for you next we talked about the hue that how we can provide the hue over here the palette that means the colors can be changed and the diagonal kind that means the diagonal if you want the diagonal elements as the kde or if you want them as a histogram plot 
Lastly, we talked about the edge color over here. That if you want to provide an edge color, you can just write plot underscore kws where you can provide different different functions. And here I have provided with the edge color, so the edge color over here is yellow. So I hope guys that the pair plot over here is clear to you. In our next session, we will be talking about the split plot. So stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.